All right. What is up, everyone? I know it has been a minute. I had a lot going on last week. A lot of personal things, stuff that I just was not interested in sharing in the vlog and probably should not be sharing in the vlog, at least from my perspective. So, I'm returning today, hopefully. Well, this will be tomorrow, actually. But today, I am migrating um, a computer from a regular hard drive to a solid-state drive. And I actually have one of the nice new Evo uh, 860s. This is a 500 gig. Uh, this was about $130 at the store. Because these have come down a lot, which is good. So uh, this is an 860 Evo uh, solid state drive. Basically a solid state drive can talk a lot faster uh, than a regular spinning hard drive like, like one of these. Uh, one of these. These, uh, these have like a metal plate in them. Works like, you know, a, a 1980s record player. So it spins and it, and it reads, it's just, just really, really slow. On the other hand, it's much like the uh, memory that's in your iPhone or any smartphone nowadays. So it's ultra fast. Uh, the 860 can talk at, well, I'm, I'm not, hold on. This construction that's going on outside my office is killing me. Uh, uh, all right, so the 860 Evos, they just dropped last month. At least that's kind of what that I'm seeing here. I'm, I'm trying to find it. So the 860 Pros, um, they support 560 megabytes per second for read, and they can write at 530 megabytes per second. Uh, while the Evo 860, which is the one that I have, the regular 860, not the Pro, it can write at 550 meg. Let me redo that. The Evo 860 can read at 550 megs per second and write at 520 megs per second. I don't know what other features are in there for the Pro versus the regular, but for a 10 meg difference, it was definitely not worth the extra like $100 for the Pro. I want to say the Pro maybe has a longer warranty or something. Wrong. That I'll pop up some comparisons right there for, uh, for the Pro versus the regular, depending on which SSD you're going to get. Once you have your SSD and you're ready to migrate over to it, it's a pretty simple process. Go into Google, of course. Uh, I'm sadly on Bing right now. Go to Google. From Google, just type in Samsung Data Migration, and that will pull up the software. I will say that with the old ones, it came with a disc. These new ones, of course, you can't fit a disc in a rectangle box, so yeah. Samsung Data Migration. And then it should be the link here that says Samsung.com products, yada, yada, yada. That's the actual link. So you come down here, you should see migration, data migration. Click your little plus button over here and it pulls you up, uh, you know, user guides and, and just everything that you may need. The very top one up here is the software, so I'll click download. And then, of course, run. This is our Samsung box, um, you know, six gigabit, six gigabits per second, 500 gig, the SSD that makes a difference. Just pretty box. The, uh, the pros are red, this is orange, it's really the only difference that I've found. Let me grab my, uh, my keys. I need to get like a real knife to keep on me. Alright. Good thing there's no moving parts. All right, instruction manual uh, and warranty guide. They taped it. That's that's a little it's uh, a little uncalled for, I think. I mean, I don't even want to read the instructions as it is, but they have to peel that off. Man, that's just no. And here's the drive. Nothing else in the box, as you can see. SATA connectors there, um, and then just gives you your size, your model number, etc. Here on the back. So. Um, that's it for the Samsung 860 Evo unboxing. All right, so once you're back on your, Jesus, the noise, man. Once you're back on your computer, uh, you know, you let your data migration software download it. What are they doing? Oh, they're grinding up trees. 
So that's why it's hard to vlog. Okay. Sorry this isn't a screen capture. It probably should be, but, uh, but yeah, you know. So just simple next, next finish basically on the Samsung data migration software. There's no real extra settings you need. It will work that, 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 that. It will want to run an update, um, most likely. So once you run the update, after that you just launch the program and then it looks like this. And see, this is that update. So when you double click your Samsung migration icon that will appear on your desktop, you should be prompted to run this update. Of course, you have to run the update. All done. And yes, once you click OK, you do see this run. I, I don't fully understand why. It's like that it just downloads it and doesn't actually upgrade it. You didn't have to click through this program and, and see it does it super quick and then it launches. I don't understand that a bit. I thought I was waiting for the update in the other window. Uh, Samsung, do, I don't get it. So once you're on this window, that's when that you will want to uh, connect. That's when you will want to connect your Samsung solid state drive to some type of dock. Here in my office, I have this nice dock. Uh, it's USB 3.0. You can use almost anything that will allow you to plug in a uh, internal drive to, you know, a USB port, basically. Um, so this one here, so this one here has two slots, number one and two, and then on the back has a one and two, and then I just run this cable over to one of my USB ports, and there we go. Now it's green. Well, it's blue. It should be green, I think. All right, so uh, we're back on the program. Now, what I've always done is whenever I plugged in my solid state drive, I always relaunch the program. So I'm going to close it real quick and then just relaunch it. So once your SSD is showing up here, um, the first one, of course, is your source disk, which is your normal hard drive. And then here's my Samsung uh, 860 Evo. Basically, all I have to do is click the start button, and then it tells me that it's going to be cloning, that all data, um, you know, cannot be recovered, and files on the source disk can't be opened if they're cloned, blah, blah, blah. So just make sure all of your stuff is closed. As you can see, the only thing I have open is the Samsung program, and then you just click yes. And then you just wait. Uh, this varies. It can take anywhere from... I've seen them take 20 minutes, I've seen them take an hour, I've seen them take three hours. It a lot of times depend on the computer. So we'll come back once this is completed. So if you watch this as it progresses, um, this is uh, how much data is on the entire drive. And um, it's moving at 15, 16 gigs, the gigs, megs a second. I've seen this number get up to like 22, that's about the highest I've seen. But you can see here it's been running for about two minutes and it has about 28 minutes left. So that's, that's about standard. It's showing it's moving at 46 megs, dope. Um, and it, you know, you see it's kind of, uh, every time it goes up a second, it also goes up a second. But either way, this will finish in a few minutes. And just because I had to, I wanted to show you nice uh, green lettering that tells you that it's been successfully clo cloned. And once you click your close button, that's when you get your shutdown button. And then after that, you just swap the drive. All right, that is, um that's the new Samsung 860 Evo solid state drive, as well as just a quick little step-by-step -step tutorial of how to do the data migration. After that, of course, like I said, you'll get a prompt to shut down your computer. You shut it down, get your case, uh, get the side off your case, find your hard drive, should be two to four screws, undo it, slide out your hard drive, everything will plug in exactly to this SSD. It's as long as you have a computer that has SATA, which you should, if you have IDE, I'm sorry, you need to buy a new computer. Once you plug everything in, it should uh, it should just basically boot up. Uh, I've never had really any other issues other than maybe having to re-enter a product key or something like that for Windows or for Office. Uh, besides that, it's always been a very, very simple process. So I wanted to share it with you. And uh, also these 860 Evo drives are new. I hope that you liked this video though. I hope that it was able to help somebody out, somebody who maybe didn't know some of this stuff. So uh, with this, drive if you had the half gig service from Comcast and you had a computer that was compatible of of moving data at at least a half gig per second and if you're downloading from a source that will allow you to download a half gig per second you could theoretically download a, a four gig movie file from the internet to that SSD in of course 10 seconds 
because if your internet's moving at 500 megs, um, that drive can write and read at 500 megs, and as long as the server that it's coming from can write and read at 500 megs, you would download a four gig or a five gig movie in 10 seconds. That's, that's awesome, I love that. Again, I hope you liked the video. I hope that everyone's having a great day. Give it a thumbs up if you can. Click that subscribe button in the corner for more videos. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow or the next day. Have a good one. Deuces.